Let's get going! Ready! What have you got there? A rope and a pulley! What? Huh? Well, whatever it is, it's small enough. If there's room to put it on the truck. I will, thank you! Hey, Gwen! What'd you just put in the truck? Oh, a pulley! A broken tackle for lifting heavy weights! What foolishness what? is this? <laughs> you got Mr. Muscle's ear for that. Please forgive her, Seymour. She's just a child and doesn't know what she's saying. We must be insult our friends, Gwen. Auntie, I just used my head and came up with the pulley. It's not an insult to anyone. Hear that? She's as good as calling me stupid. Well, really. Stop being rude and get behind the wheel. Sorry, Seymour. She'll get her oh, bottom paddle later. I can promise you that. Me, stupid? Me of all persons? We simply can't do without your help, Seymour. Why, you know as well as I do, that little mite couldn't move a butterfly's egg on her own. You can say that again. Stop! Gwen! Come back! We'll have to get to the harvest area on foot. Don't know if I want to do that. If we cut across the fields, we can probably get there before she does. Please, Seymour, come on! Hey! Here comes the truck! What are they doing down there? Darn if I know. That's it. It's just as taut as the books say. What's that rope for? If we hook up a block and tackle to it, we can carry the loads of nectar up to the truck. You mean not carry everything on our backs anymore? That's exactly what I mean. Seymour, look down there. Mm. <laughs> huh? mm. Now all we have to do is unhook the pulley. <laughs> I have to admit, that's quite an idea the kid came up with. But now we have to load the nectar onto the truck. And that's where Mr. Muscles comes in. <gasps> oh, oh. I must say, that was quite clever of you, dear. <clears throat> we did it! Yay, we did it! <laughs> that was just great! Nothing to it. No, I mean it without you. No, we have to thank this little genius here. If it hadn't been for her, we would have taken twice the time. And those muscles of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better head homewards. And go slow, that truck's pretty loaded down. Oh, dear, you're right. Go on, Gwen. Thanks again for everything, Seymour. Oh, my goodness. Check 
that both rear wheels are touching the ground. The right one's buried too deep. It's my fault, sorry. I should have driven more carefully. Now is when we need to see more strength. Don't worry, I'll go look for him. Auntie, we'll all push while you try to drive out of it, all right? All right, dear, do your best. <laughs> <laughs> Come see more. William, look at that. How did it happen? I swerved to avoid a strawberry. Our little genius is fresh out of solutions, huh? The wheels are really stuck, I'm afraid. Oh dear, oh dear. Never fear. Seymour's here. I better warm up a bit first, though. This is a tough one. Nectar, it'll give you strength. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. All right, everyone, move away from the truck. Shot of that nectar. Here you are. Drink it all. Thanks. Drink some more. Right away. <gasps> we can all help by pulling. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> of strength left. I'll do it or die trying. We're ready. Let's do it. There isn't an instant to be lost. Please hurry, Seymour. Do your best. What does that remind me of? Diagrams in that book. Diminishing the length of the rope by 50% will result in an increase of 50% in the lifting power. We can do it, everyone. We can do it, I promise you. Gwen, quit playing your silly little games. We're wasting time here. If we tie oh. another length of rope to the midpoint of the first one, we increase the hauling strength by 50%. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let's do it! Only Seymour can help us. Please try again. It's no use. Oh, dear. This is a catastrophe. Put your backs into it! It's working! It's working! Will you look at that? He must explain everything. Yes, tell us. How did you do it? Nothing to it. I just realized that if we cut in half the distance between the truck and the end of the rope and then hold on it at that point, that would increase the pulling power. The same principle applies to lifting heavy objects with a block and tackle. You don't need any special brain power. You just have to read the book. Well, I think you're a genius, Gwen, darling. I really do. Why, if it hadn't been for Seymour's mighty muscles and your intelligence, we might have lost the truck and the entire load of nectar and faced the prospect of a terrible winter. Now we can all go home happy. 